everyone, how's everyone keeping? I hope you're all keeping well, thank you so much for coming back. In tonight's video, it has been all over the web, I'm sure everybody knows about this by now, but tonight we are going to be talking about something that I love, franchise that I love, we're going to be talking about James Bond, or should I say, Jane Bond. So let's just go ahead and get this video started. <laughs> Shanna Lynch is to pretty much take the code name of James Bond in the new movie. So of course you know Daniel Craig is you know going to be passing on the torch pretty much obviously right. But first of all I want to say straight off the bat guys I have no issue with a female agent. You know why not even do you know a spin-off movie with you know a female character actor and call it 009, call it 00 something call it something like that right I, I don't have an issue but where I have the issue is where a lot of people would have the same issue is Holly weirdness you know are 100% lazy you know they, they just don't want to be bothered you know they're wanting to make you know a ton of money but at the same time they are what they're doing is whether they care or not is they are destroying such a, an amazing franchise and such a fantastic franchise also known as James Bond so yeah, they're never going to learn guys, that is one thing about them is they're never going to learn. Now one thing I really wanted to bring up is I'm also all for female characters, you know, strong female characters. Nothing wrong with that, right? For example, I love playing Tomb Raider games, I love R Rise of the Tomb Raider, I love uh, the movies. And one thing I will say is I've never really been fussed on Angelina Jolie, I just can't really take to the woman, I'm sorry, nothing against her personally. But she was fabulous in Tomb Raider and was she perfectly cast it? 100%. I thought she was brilliant in Tomb Raider. So I'm all for it guys. I wouldn't even care as I say about a female agent. But it is just getting absolutely ridiculous now the way things are going. It really really is. And I mean let's even think for example. Let's bring up some actors, British actors who are current at the moment who could actually play James Bond and fit the role well. Let's start with Henry Cavill. Yes, he could be. But the guy's tied down, the dude is tied down at the minute, you know, he's going to be doing Netflix, uh, he's going to be doing The Witcher, as a lot of us know, and he was also in that movie, Man From U.N.C.L.E., and I actually would actually prefer to see another one of that movie. That movie was fantastic, they could just have him in another one of those. Hollywood, do that instead of this, seriously. Instead of this whole Lashana Lynch thing, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Anyways, go and do that instead, you know, do something better with your gosh darn time. What about Tom Hiddleston? who of course is Loki. He's my favourite film in the MCU. So, you know, he's a, he's a good actor as well, you know what I mean? But no, 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 you're just gonna, just gonna pick a woman instead, right? Now, why not also Scott Adkins? Scott Adkins, in case anybody doesn't know who he is, he is absolutely freaking fabulous. And I've got to go try and not talk too much about him because I love the guy. But he was actually one of the acolytes in um, Doctor Strange. He was one of the acolytes for Dormammu. And he is actually a martial artist. He's done, he does tons of other different fighting styles, but as I say guys, I'm not going to go crazy into it. But let's think. James Bond agents also would have to study different, you know, styles of fighting. So this guy could be perfect for the role. Now I know a lot of people say he's not a great actor, I think he is a great actor. Say what you will, it's your opinion. But let's face it, who out there thought Daniel Craig was a great actor, which I'm going to get to in a second. Now, another one would be Jude Law. He is one of my favourite actors. Jude Law is in a, such a magical Christmas movie, I, I am so obsessed with it, I watch it every single Christmas. And it's called The Holiday. And I love Jude Law just in general. I, think he's a, I actually think he's a brilliant actor, right? They could pick him. Now, yes, you know, some of these actors may be, you know, getting a bit older, whatever, you know, but I'm going to go on to Daniel Craig. Now, Daniel Craig, for me, did not have the charm and the charisma that James Bond should have. Is it just me, guys, or is it not like a bit of a stone, stone wall, a bit blasé, and, you know, we could have had a better James Bond? So, if he's going to talk acting wise, then you know, can you get much worse than Daniel Craig? I know he wasn't like so bad to the point where I'm going to sit here and like completely slate the guy. 
because <laughs> I'm nothing against him. But I'm just saying that he was a very blasé James Bond. That's he was, he was a very blasé James Bond. You know, when I think of James Bond, I think of, you know, cocky, charming, you know, always trying to get his way, you know, uh, how, how's he, you know you're know, you wanting to know, how is he going to get his way out of this one? You know, how is he going to get out of this this time? You're interested to find out. Just the same way, kind of like Han Solo, you know, he was always, you know, doing things, you know, and like trying to get away with things and everything. Um, and then because of that, you know, James Bond then thinks, you know, he can do the same, get away, you know, uh, the same way with the women. You know, and he's all these women and everything. And I suppose in a way, kind of also not so far off, I suppose, Indiana Jones. You can probably tell I absolutely love Harrison Ford. Big Star Wars fan. Big Indiana Jones fan as well. So, you know, this is the thing. To be James Bond, you know, it, to me, it's charisma, it's charm. You know what I mean? That's James Bond and you know to take anything away from that would be just completely like condescending to fans um, and just completely destroying and taking away from all those years of like, I, just, I don't even know, it just completely takes away from the franchise for me anyway. And you know what I think is the problem and where this issue stems from, where the root of the problem is, is obviously holly weirdness you know. And Holly Weirdness, you know, they would have been sitting down, you know, at a board meeting, you know, with their coffee machine beside them and their donuts and thinking, you know, who should we pick? You know, who's mainstream at the minute? Who can we pick that's going to be hugely popular as James Bond? And then no one's been able to sit and come up with anything good. You know, like, you know, don't don't think of Tom Hiddleston, who's a, who's a brilliant actor and probably could do a, a way better job than Daniel Craig as James Bond, you know, don't, don't, don't think of that now. And then, you know, someone's went to make the coffee and then they've came back and then just said, you know what, look, just forget about it. Scrap all the notes that we've had and just, you know, pick a woman. Let's just pick a woman. We'll get Daniel Craig to hand the torch over, you know, pat, sorry, not hand over, get the passing of the torch, um, you know, because we can't think of anybody good enough so we'll just do that instead. And that is 100% pandering, it's laziness, it's just, it's getting ridiculous. So even better than Daniel Craig, they could have even opened, you know, like an open audition. Because think about it guys, think of how, you know, talented actors and celebrities became talented actors. You know, they would have had to go to an audition of some sort to get there. Like, yes, okay, some people have relatives in the know and in the business and you know, I used to do acting myself, I've did acting grades and things like that, so I know how it works. Some people just get it because they get it, and I'm sure people know that out of common sense anyway. It's like anything, you know, somebody could just be handed a role here or there, or whatever. But then there is people who went to auditions and then now they're really hugely famous. So, you know, somebody could have went in in a suit and did an audition and been way better than Daniel Craig. Not even way better, but even, you know, a little bit better. You know, so, you know, sometimes, you know, Hollywood, you know, you don't always have to go for someone who's insanely popular. You know, you could have just picked Tom Hiddleston, but you know, whatever. But you know, you could say to yourself, open up, you know, an audition and you know, what's the worst that could happen? You know, so no one turns up that's good enough. You know, are you, are you really, are you completely broke then? Like you've no money left? Your cash is all gone? The world has freaking well ended? No. This sounds just very comical to me and very gimmicky at this stage. And it's, I was actually speaking to my dad and my mum about this today and when I told my dad, he was driving at the time and he just looked in the middle mirror in the car and went, what? what? What do you mean? I don't understand. And my dad loves James Bond and he would sit and watch the movies and everything. And even my mum, like she, I don't think she's seen all of the James Bond movies but she knows, you know, obviously James Bond and she's seen some of them with my dad I'm sure. But even she was like, oh my gosh. And my dad said, who's going to watch that? I'm not going to be interested in that. Do you know what I mean? Like, so, and that's the thing. Who's going to watch this? Who is actually going to go and buy a ticket? I don't understand, guys. I really, really don't understand at this point. So, I think that's where I'm going to well leave it. You know, I mean, 007. Double O to the friggin' no. That is what I have to say about this. Heck no. Let me know what you think down in the comments and let me know who your favourite James Bond is. I absolutely love Sean Connery, so I would say mine is Sean Connery. So let me know. I also love him in Indiana Jones 3. Oh my gosh, hilarious. Let me know in the comments and I will speak to you all soon in my next video. But until then, don't forget that the force will be with you always. But it's not with Hollywood, seriously not. Bye guys.